What's up guys and girls, this is JJ here with a product demo of the Magnetic Effects White Atom Fuzz version 3. There's a number of Magnetic Effects Fuzz demos on my channel. This is their latest offering, the White Atom version 3. So this time around, I'm not going to tell you all of the technical stuff about this pedal. I'll do that later on in this video because the structure of my demo videos is going to be a little bit different from now on. I'll use uh, my sum uh, structure which stands for sounds, use or usage and more or miscellaneous. So that way um, most people will typically you know like are after sound bites so I'll do those first then I'll talk about why this is a useful 
uh, product to buy and who it is useful for, who it's designed for, and what kind of applications it has. And in the more or the miscellaneous section, I'll tell you a little bit more about the controls and the technical stuff. So you can watch up to the point where you think it's interesting uh, until you've heard enough, of course. Uh, please let me know what you think um, of this new structure idea uh, in the comments. And, um, uh, well, you know, if you have any suggestions, I'm definitely open for that because I'm not the expert. Um, but it is probably uh, the review demo kind of format that I would want to watch. So first the sounds, then the usage, and then the technical stuff, uh, if you're interested about that. So uh, the usage of a fuzz pedal, well, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys know the difference between, you know, like uh, guitar distortion types. So you've got overdrive. Uh, you've got distortion and you've got fuzz. Um, I'm always a big fan of only using pedals to create effects that cannot be obtained with just the guitar and the amp. Now, let me clarify that. Uh, I would probably never use an overdrive or a distortion uh, uh, pedal or an amp in a box kind of pedal because I prefer to get my uh, overdriven tones from the amplifier. If I can't do that with a particular amplifier, that is probably, then it's probably not the right amplifier for my kind of music. Now, fuzz is a different beast um, because uh, fuzz tones, um, they have a, a, an entirely different characteristic than amp overdrive or, or, or distortion from a pedal or from a heavy gain amplifier. And the artifacts that make fuzz tones so unique and so uh, usable, um, things like harmonics, kind of the square wave sound, uh, and one thing this pedal does very well by means of this texture control is you can, uh, you can, you know, you can adjust the, the bias or the voltage that's going to the transistors. I don't know, I'm not an engineer. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, but you can get these uh, these these sputtery artifacts with this pedal um, that some very famous recordings are um, are renowned for. Uh, so, for instance, uh, you can get you can get all sorts of fuzz tones like like an old maestro kind of fuzz tone, which is very bright and very very gnarly. Uh, you can get uh, like big stoner kind of fuzz tones, which is entirely different than the drive any amplifier would give you. You can get fuzz face kind of tones with this thing. Uh, think Hendrix, uh, of course, and, uh, and lots of other uh, famous players. And since it's got such a flexible EQ and it's a germanium uh, silicon hybrid fuzz with only five controls, it's highly usable and it's very, very versatile. So um, I've, I've always been a big fan of the White Atom. I've owned version one and two uh, as well and demos for that. Uh, are on my channel as well, uh, but in this um, version 3 um, they replace some of the toggle switching with a texture control and that allows for, you know, like the sputtery velcro fuzz, very sticky uh, kind of fuzz tones all the way up to, uh, you know, like very focused fuzz sounds and the bass control, you know, can get you into big muff uh, kind of territory, getting a lot of bass and, and, uh, and adding some highs will give you kind of a scooped uh, sound. Um, so, so the reason I chose to demo this particular fuzz pedal is because of its versatility, because of its price point, and because of its uh, build quality. These are handmade in the United Kingdom. Uh, by magnetic effects, they use very, very high-grade components. They're built to last, they're very durable, and I would easily just take this on the road with me because I wouldn't be afraid something terrible might happen to it, especially since they uh, swapped out, you know, the toggle switch for, um, for a dial, which makes it a lot sturdier. Um, the price point on these, just north of 100 100 euros or 100 dollars and you can order them from magneticeffects.net so if you're looking for a fuzz pedal to get into classic rock kind of territory you want some stoner tones or you want some like really funky kind of fuzz tones if you're in a soul group uh, for for your lead playing this is probably uh, the best way to go all right so over to the third and last part of this video in this new format uh, the m stands for more or miscellaneous so, um, a little bit more in-depth info on the White Atom version 3. This is, a, um, this is advertised as a flexible fuzz and, um, well, technically what that means is that it has both silicon and 
germanium transistors so you know like if you um, if you go and look up fuzz faces on the internet uh, you'll find you have germanium fuzz faces you have silicon fuzz faces and the germanium ones they sound a little warmer uh, and the silicon based fuzzes they sound a little little bit more aggressive so um, this baby has both um, I'm not gonna try and explain to you exactly how this pedal is constructed because because I simply am not an expert uh, in that department. Uh, but uh, I'll just show you the enclosure up close. It's got five controls. It's got a pretty sturdy foot switch and a very bright uh, white LED. It's got a metal housing, um, no rubber feet, uh, although they are included. So you can just Velcro this uh, to your pedal board or put it on whatever pedal board you have. It's got top mounted jacks, uh, which is convenient because uh, then you can cram more pedals onto your pedal board, I suppose, uh, and it's, uh, it's powered um, by a regular 9-volt power supply. Unfortunately, I opened this up and it cannot be powered with a battery, so you will have to use your power supply to, uh, to be able to use this pedal. It's got your standard issue volume and gain controls, so this is the output volume, this is the amount of dirt. Uh, and the most interesting control on this pedal is the texture knob and to me with all the controls set to 12 o'clock and the volume set accordingly to unity gain so that it's just as loud as your dry signal or maybe a little bit louder if you want that um, you get a very sensible usable lead tone very much uh, like a David Gilmore kind of lead tone uh, as soon as you start uh, rolling back on the texture control and you will have to readjust the volume because it gets a little bit more quiet you get more fuzzy artifacts so you get you get that funky sputtery almost starving battery kind of sound which is really cool combined with a brighter tone and less on the bass dial for those vintage uh, maestro kind of fuzz tones um, as soon as you start dialing up the texture control the sound gets a little bit more focused so um, and smoother I suppose I don't know what's going on under the hood but that's what it sounds like to me uh, and it sounds good on any gain setting so they dial in this pedal very very well uh, in my opinion uh, if you up the bass control these these two EQ controls are very flexible and very effective if you up the bass and the treble uh, to my ears, you get a little bit more of a scooped sound. You can almost get into that big muff kind of territory with this as well. Um, now, fuzzes are funny beasts, uh, I always find. Um, I tend to never use any pedals that can give me sounds that I can get with my guitar and amp by themselves. So, typically, you will not find me using an amp in a box kind of distortion or overdrive pedal because... I like to get my dirt from the amplifier, um, so I will not use a pedal for that going into a clean amp. But of course, you know, different folks, different strokes, that's what works for me in my music and in my um, life situations. Um, fuzzes are, are very particular. They have very particular artifacts tonally that cannot be obtained by using just a guitar and an amp. So, and then I'm talking about, you know, the sputter, uh, a little bit of the unpredictability of it, um, a different, you know, kind of sonic texture that can stand out really nicely in a mix. And, um, and even on the, on the funkier settings like I did with the texture rolled back and the treble all the way up, uh, that might sound like a, a, a very unusable tone, but it can work really well in certain, you know, busy mixes to cut through and take care of some of the the treble and upper mid-range frequencies of a of a track so don't just simply discard those types of tones just because when you're playing on your own they don't sound very good uh, it's got plenty of headroom on tap so this volume control i, I find myself never turning it up uh, past 12 o'clock but that means that you have about half the dial left to, to also push the front end of, uh, of your amplifier so that you can get a little bit of that amp dirt happening and blending it in nice nicely with uh, with the fuzz uh, to get this nice melange of fuzz and amp overdrive so uh, that's it the white atom version 3 by magnetic effects highly recommended